Hey everyone, we're outside here at Createx uh, with a panel that we have that we're going to be giving to a client uh, for an upcoming project that we have going on here at the booth of Createx. Uh, it's a full, complete paint job. So uh, this is a sample for him. I just wanted to show you guys, give you a little teaser as to what we have going on. It's a candy pearl that I'm going to show you guys how to mix. It's uh, our iridescent purple and our candy black. So it's two parts purple to one part black and it's got a really cool kind of color shift. It almost goes to just almost black on the side cast, but when the light hits it, it really does light up, and that's kind of what he wanted in terms of a color. It's a little custom, but it's not super over the top. So we're gonna be documenting that project, so stay tuned. We'll see you soon. Hey guys, we're back in the booth now. We uh, showed you what the hood looks like outside with clear on it. Now I'm gonna show you how I mix the color and what it looks like being sprayed. So we started with your iridescent purple. That was our base color for it. So I mixed this two parts to one part candy 2o black now any of you guys that have sprayed our candy black you know that it has a little bit of a purple shade to it which is perfect for this color it kind of complements the color while creating that that muted effect that we want um, i mixed that together with our 4050 gloss because it's candy in there i like the 4050 gloss as as more of a carrier better than the 4030 because it's got a little more body to it so what we're doing is when we add this to that iridescent purple it kind of skinnies the paint out a little bit makes it a little too thin so the 4050 has more body so it, it works harmoniously together to just be a better product um, i made a sealer color with uh, our sealer red and our sealer blue just mix those two together almost one to one and a splash of white uh, to get a purple ground coat and this is the color here mixed I already have it in the gun so we're gonna spray it and you guys can see what that looks like Okay, so I got two coats on here. I'm gonna do my third coat, which is more of just a control coat, making sure that everything looks nice and even. Uh, it's just like a medium coat. So we're gonna put that down, let that dry, and uh, we'll recap everything. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Uh, again, this was our iridescent purple, mixed two parts iridescent purple to one part candy black, and I did that mixture overall three to one to our 4050 gloss. So three parts paint to one part 4050 gloss. And uh, actually, because of the viscosity, I did not have to reduce it, so reduction is really not necessary. If you're using a smaller size gun, maybe you'd want to, or temperature conditions, but I did not reduce this, uh, and it sprays, you can see how, how well it sprays. Um, this is starting to dry up a little bit, but I have another card here. This is the iridescent purple right out of the bottle. So that's what that color looks like. And you can see the difference in what we've created with just a little bit of that candy black. And, and when you guys saw the hood outside, you see how it, it has that black cast off to the side, but as the sun hits that on the face, it lights up, you know, so we kind of have that that muted kind of cool color where wherever the light is going to be focused, it's going to show through and it's just going to kind of almost go black or like super deep purple on the side. So for the car that we're doing for that project, it's going to look really, really cool. So thanks for checking this out. And we'll see you guys next time.